Hi guys. Um, today I've been um, cutting these uh, Bird of Paradise flowers. I usually um, like to cut them every week and um, just use them as flower arrangements in my house. In the old days I used to have lots of them and I used to cut them and um, give them to the restaurant owners who were friends of mine in Bangkok and um, they used to have beautiful flower arrangements in their restaurant every week um, thanks to the abundance of the farm and that and I used to supply them with um, um, fresh um, hydroponic salads which were really good and they were quite famous for it as well there um, it was a Swiss Swiss kind of a salad Anyway, um, I thought I'd just um, do a little flower arrangement with the bird of paradise that I've just been picking up around um, the property. Um, I mean, it's just been raining so much. There's such an abundance of um, flowers, but um, particularly these sort of lily tights um, and also the bromelides. Anyway, I'm going to make a nice flower arrangement today, so um, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm going to get started. So um, these things, some of them are <clears throat> not very open, and um, I'll just try and take the leaf off. Sometimes they just come out, and that. Um, this is a beautiful vase I got from my father-in-law. Um, I think it's lilac or something like that anyway. It's to be used in the house and um, so I'll just fill it up with um, lovely flowers from the garden. Oh, this is cute. Um, I actually do have um, some foam in the bottom of the of the flower pot um, just to hold it um, it's just your normal flower saw foam um, and that sort of holds it nicely in place and um, it gets saturated with water as well which is lovely um, so that feeds the stalks. These could stay easily in a flower arrangement for two weeks. I mean, they're really great. Um, the restaurant that I used to send it to, they just loved it. And they just had beautiful, huge, I used to cut like whole stems very long sometimes. And they just had beautiful arrangements every week. Or, and, um, but it would last a long time. And I just like to have them in my house. And um, I also love to paint them. So recently I did a, a mural. I was asked um, in the Thai Artist Association to do a mural in um, association with um, many other Thai artists. And so we painted, and um, it was Bird of Paradise that I painted all along this wall in the middle of Sukhumvit and had a lot of fun that day just doing it but um, I actually do have a lot of big paintings of um, ginger flowers and also crab claws and also these bird of paradise which are um, really my little bit of uh, my favorites for painting and that maybe I'll show you some but anyway I'll just continue. I think we've just about finished. Um, so, um, just one more. I think I'll just take the stalk, leave the leaves, and um, ooh, it's quite soft. You see, sometimes it can be quite soft. So. Yeah. 
So anyway, this is it. We've got it. Yeah, can you see? It's just so lovely. And um, I just keep it in my house. This, <coughs> it will last about at, at least at least 10 days if I keep changing the water maybe two weeks in my house and that just cuts down a lot of the work um, at the moment I consider myself very lucky um, a lot of the hotels are still closed because of the lockdown and there are no tourists basically so I've managed to um, find a lovely um, housekeeper or, um, in, in one of the hotels along along the coast and um, so she's been coming in every um, Sunday morning and just helping giving a good clean but she's just really really great and um, I appreciate it and um, I hope she appreciates me as well but it's just lovely that you know, she just, I don't have to train her in any way if I get somebody from up country or whatever. Um, it takes me, it's literally, darling, it's, it's two months, two full months to train a good housekeeper. You know, so it's just lovely. She knows everything. She's a, she's a housekeeper at a, you know, one of these big hotels and um, she's great absolutely lovely and uh, very grateful for her and um, I'm just loving it I'm able to manage everything else I reckon just about except for the elephant in my garden a big rain tree that just fell over uh, last week um, well I've consulted the local godfather and the village headman the gamnan and the Puyai Ban, they call it, call him. He's a great guy. Um, but anyway, by the end of this month, 1st of October, they'll all be out of office because there's a new election going on. Um, he's been great all these years. I hope he gets back elected back in again. But anyway, whether he's elected or not, he's going to help me get the arbors in and the sawmills in and that. But we just can't... I don't see us being able to do anything till end of November or beginning of December because um, uh, the whole of October is predicted rain almost every day so the grounds will be very soft so we wouldn't be able to get the big um, trucks in or the machinery to um, you know cut. it's quite heavy I guess I don't know um, so um, I'm trying my best to ignore it, you know, it's kind of like the elephant in the room, when can we clear it? Anyway, I've accepted it, yeah. Early December, I reckon, and I hope we've got the same godfather, if not new elections or whatever, then I have to start the whole process, contact, find out who they are, blah, 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 blah. And uh, yeah, I'll get through, anyway enjoy hope you've got lots of bird of paradise planted near you sometimes they're just along the soil if you take your snippers in <laughs> nobody's looking you give them a quick snip then you've got yourself a lovely flower arrangement at home there's loads of loads and loads of these bird of paradise just growing along the soils in the middle of Sukhumvit in the residential areas we grow them outside there yeah <laughs> Anyway, no, that's a bit naughty. Sorry. But anyway, I've got loads of them on my farm and I'm trying to cultivate many different varieties like pink ginger and all sorts anyway. Have a nice day, everyone, and enjoy. Bye.